Welcome back to Rue TV, your station for weekly updates on UMKC and the local Kansas City community. I'm Rex Stickney. And I'm Marissa Leggio. Last Friday, an investigation was launched after a 22-year-old black woman escaped from the home of Timothy Haslett Jr., a 39-year-old white male living in Excelsior Springs. The 22-year-old victim is fortunately in stable condition but told investigators that Haslett took the lives of two other women. Haslett is now facing charges of kidnapping and sexual assault. This incident occurred only less than a month after the Kansas City Police Department claimed that reports of missing black women were completely unfounded. The Kansas City Public School District is proposing to close 10 schools, including eight elementary schools and two high schools. This proposal was made at last Wednesday's Board of Education meeting to combat falling enrollment rates and to expand student opportunities. They also have plans to build a new elementary school and two middle schools. The changes would repurpose $13.2 million to accommodate these programs and the school district will be hosting nine events to hear feedback from the community. Kansas City recently passed a resolution asking voters if $50 million should go to the city's housing trust fund. If passed, the Kansas City tenants claim that the money would benefit the houseless and anyone making less than 30% of the area median income. This resolution will be question number two on the upcoming November ballot. Students who want to play in a band sponsored by the university outside the conservatory are now able to do so through Campus Band. The band's creators are graduate teaching assistant Anya Pogarelova and UMKC Conservatory Academy Director Elizabeth Thau. Anya wants the band to be run entirely by students and practice every Monday at 7.30 p.m. in the UMKC Performing Arts Center. Musicians interested in joining should send an email to bands at umkc.edu. Now we'll throw it over to Jackson and Josh for this week's roundup of sports and entertainment. Take it away, guys. Welcome back into the den. I'm Jackson Ogden. Men's soccer had a gigantic match this past week against eighth-ranked Denver and fought hard for a 1-1 draw. With this, the team is now tied for second in the conference with eight points and is set to take on Eastern Illinois on Saturday in Charleston. Women's soccer picked up their second win of the season on Friday at South Dakota before dropping one to South Dakota State on Sunday. They're set to wrap up their regular season this weekend with home matches against Omaha and Denver. Volleyball had their best week of the season last week, taking home wins against St. Thomas and South Dakota State before dropping one to South Dakota to end the week. They sit at 6-16 six and 16 and have a singular home match against Oral Roberts this Saturday. On to national news, the Chiefs took on the Bills on Sunday and it was a brutal 24-20 loss. It was a back and forth battle, but ultimately Kansas City squandered too many opportunities and ended up getting burnt by a late Bills touchdown drive. In all honesty, the Chiefs proved they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the NFL's best without key starters Willie Gay, Rashad Fenton, Trent McDuffie, and others, which in my eyes shows promise for what feels like an inevitable rematch in January. Now, the national media will go full clickbait BS this week and try and claim that Josh Allen is better than Patrick Mahomes, but until Josh Allen can do this in the playoffs, he will not pass number 15 in red. The Chiefs will head to San Francisco this Sunday to take on the 49ers in a Super Bowl 54 rematch. The MLB playoffs continued this week, and wow, did things get crazy. The number one seed Dodgers, who finished with the fourth most wins in MLB history, got bounced by the wild card Padres in just four games. The 101 win Braves also got upset by the wild card Phillies in four games, making it three teams that won 100 regular season games that failed to make the championship series. The Astros, however, did not get in on the trend because after winning 106 regular season games, they went on to sweep the Mariners and advance to the ALCS, where they'll take on the winner of Yankees vs. Guardians, which by the time this episode comes out, we'll all know who that is, but for now, you know. Well, that's all I have for you this week in the den. I'll see you next week for a very special spooky Halloween sports episode you will not want to miss. <laughs> Welcome back to Arts and Entertainment, and we have a whole lot of things to talk about. A lot of news, okay, because Taylor's album is coming out this weekend. I know a lot of you guys are going to listen to it, and yes, I'll listen to it for you guys so you can hear my opinions. I know I've trashed on her, so I'll listen to it. It'll probably be pretty mid, but who cares? Who cares? I'll listen to it. And then apparently, BTS has to join the military. Um, that's crazy. I guess we're not going to get any music from them, but it doesn't really bother me. I don't really listen to them like that, but maybe it bothers some of you guys. 
And then Kanye back at it again with more racist comments about George Floyd, you know, fentanyl killed him. It wasn't the knee. I don't even want to get into that. I'm not going to get upset today. I'm trying to have a good day. So you guys take that with what you will, but I definitely disagree. And Rex Orange County, I was just starting to get into him. I was starting to like him. You saw him on my top 10 favorite album list. Apparently he is getting accused of sexual assault. Not one time, but like six. It's, it's bad. Um, so music industry is just in shambles right now. But on a lighter note, we get to finish my top five list of music artists. So number five is J. Cole. And I'm not going to tell you why. You guys already heard why J. Cole's up there, but J. Cole's that guy. Number four is Daniel Caesar. I think Daniel Caesar right now, not like all of R&B ever, but right now is the best R&B artist making music. He's so good. I just love the way he sounds. I love the sound of the music, like the instruments, but also his voice is amazing. And the number three is Hobo Johnson. This is probably the most out there one that you're going to hear me say. But uh, this guy, he just, he's very emotional. He's very real about where he is. And I needed that in high school. You know, I was an emotional guy too. And I needed someone that I felt like I could relate to. So he's number three. Number two is X. I know, I know. X, like, number two. It's, it's crazy. I get it. But X is really good. I mean, again, I need someone when I was feeling sad to listen to. And he was just there. And then his hype music is like best hype music I've ever listened to. Like it's so good. And you guys should all know my number one artist of all time, but I'm gonna give you a drum roll anyways. It's Michael Jackson. Yes, it's Michael Jackson. He's the greatest artist of all time. Not even close. No one's even close to him. It's like, here's number two and here's him. He's just so good. And again, I suggest that you listen to some of his music because he's just the best artist of all time. Well, I thank you for your time, and if you want to hear more of my music takes, follow me on Instagram at mr.cunning123, and thank you for listening to Rue TV. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Rue TV. Hit the notification bell and subscribe for more UMKC and Kansas City community news, and check out our Instagram at Rue TV UMKC. See you next week. <laughs>